what is going on everyone welcome back to another video today we got why did so many german officers have scars that that title actually really interested me i never even knew that german officers have scars so that's another thing we figured out but let's see why they have these scars it looks like an old sort of video so let's see what we got guys let's get it oh i see some swords here Menzur or German academic fencing Mensur, Mensur. is why so many German officers and the elite wore scars in their faces in the 19th and 20th centuries. These Bro, look at those scars. That must have hurt. Scars were badges of honor and worn with pride, though not always on the face of honorable men. They were the mark of having belonged to a Mensur organization, usually reserved for the upper class and or those with a university education, where a student could join a Mensur fraternity or corporation. That's crazy. Imagine, guys, like, so many years ago, like, they used to fight with the swords. I mean, doesn't that just sound mind-blowing? Nowadays, we just have technology, so... Because... Academic fencing in 19th and 20th century Germany and some neighboring countries like Austria was much different than it is today. They did not use the same swords or equipment fencers use in modern times. Oh, seriously? German students used Menzua Schläge, or sometimes just called Schläge, designed specifically for the sport. These swords varied regionally, but were designed to cut, in a similar way to a razor. The duels wow. were known as Menzuren. Oh my god. Bro, imagine just getting whacked in the face with with that thing bro i would not like that must have been tough and somewhat ritualized wow. some protective clothing could bro he his your face just gets destroyed by this thing like why be worn such as padding on the arm and some protection for the eyes and nose the duels involved attempting to strike the opponent on the head or face and the duel typically ended once blood was drawn Goodness. You, you bully you! Oh my goodness, bro! Like, bro, you can get so many scars, and these guys weren't even wearing protection for their their eyes. So that's shocking. These duels were not so much about winning or striking a blow, but showing courage and the ability to take a hit. Okay. A duelist in such a match was just as proud to bravely take a cut to the face as they were to give one. Mensur was not a typical duel. There wasn't necessarily a winner or a loser, just opportunities to display one's character. Unlike in fencing, the participants didn't move back or forth. In fact, dodging or evading wasn't allowed and could end the match with this honor. The participants were to stand their ground and remain at arm's length until the match is over. Wow. Did you just see how it cut through that thing? Just imagine how sharp that could be. Which was overseen by a referee and often a doctor. So once blood is drawn, it, that's how they decide the winner. Interesting sport, but weird. These scars, called a smite or schmiss in German, were so valued some even felt they elevated a man enough to show they were good husband material. Figures such as statesman Otto von Bismarck stated the scars to be a sign of bravery and believed a man's courage could be judged by the number of scars on their cheeks. That's just blood everywhere. To be honest, it does sort of show bravery. I mean, would you guys go do that right now? Like nowadays, it's really hard to have something like that. But bro, that is, you've got to be brave to handle like a whack in the face. Like just stand still and you can't even move your face, your feet, sorry. So you're just standing there with a sword, hoping you don't get hit. Unreal. Universities were where the sport was refined. In the 16th century, students were allowed to carry swords to and from school in some German Seriously? provinces to protect themselves. Naturally, no this led to many duels. This could and did lead to fatalities. Regulated duels in the 17th century were introduced to help reduce these fatalities. Refereed duels became safer and popular, and okay. duels slowly evolved into a sport. 
This sport further exploded in popularity during peacetime in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, with military officers looking to prove themselves. Pish to you! So it was mainly like police officers? Dueling was outlawed by the Nazi party in the 1930s. Hitler had less an issue with men's sewer than he did with student corporations that represented the old aristocratic class, which he despised. Despite this, they still took place in secret. This was a sport that was so popular for a time. Students who were unable to join fraternities sometimes... Like, how long ago is this? That's the thing I don't understand. One second, does it not show a date somewhere? 1951. There's a lot of dates, but I'm guessing it's this one. Somewhere around there in the 1900s, anyway. What, bro? That is still shock shocking. Like, seriously. I still can't believe they, they actually had such a sport. Times gave themselves scars with a razor. After the war, it remained prohibited by occupied Allied forces for a time, as it was considered to have a military association. The sport. So you see here, it seems like they practice with sticks first, and then they go on to the heavy stuff. Jeez, bro, that's that's unbelievable. Returned in the early. Are these kids, by the way? They do look a lot younger than the others. Early 1950s, and is still practiced today, with significant improvements to safety, greatly they decreasing the chance of any scars. Wow. Uh, you see here, they yeah. actually train with uh, dummies first. So there's a lot of practice before you actually get into a duel with someone else. With significant improvements to safety, greatly decreasing the chance of any scars. Yeah, these guys have a full face mask as well. So there you go. All right, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching till the end. Remember to wear your nose armor. Take care. And we'll see you in the next one. Wait. So they actually have armor for your eyes, for your nose. So you saw there was this mask like this, and it came down, covered your nose as well. So this part basically is safe. So it's mainly your cheek and your forehead, I'm guessing. But what about your mouth? Like, that would be painful. That would be painful. But it's a bit hard to reach the mouth since they are, like, doing it sideways. So it will hit this part. Anyway, bro, like that, that was pretty intense, intense stuff, intense sport, dangerous sport as well. Wow, I would love to hear like your thoughts, what you think about this sport, you guys who are from Germany, of course, even if you're not from Germany, let me know what you thought about this one. And yeah, if you guys have any other video suggestions send them in the comments below guys i will check it out and yeah thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one peace out guys